Hello everyone, my name is Kirti and uh, I am an assistant for Pesel in IKM. Today I am going to discuss the subject that is corporate accounting and today I am going to share the following topics. Number one is managerial remuneration introduction, rules for remuneration, then computation of net profit for managerial remuneration and then illustration on the basis of managerial remuneration. Right, and this is part 8 in corporate accounting. So what does remuneration mean? Remuneration means any money or its equivalent given to any person for services rendered by him and includes the perquisites mentioned in the Income Tax Act 1961. Managerial remuneration in simple words is the remuneration paid to managerial personals. Here managerial personnel mean director including managing director and whole time director and manager. So remuneration means the money or money or money equivalent given to any person and what is managerial remuneration means managerial that remuneration given to managerial personnel which includes directors manager managing director whole time director and manager means generally four personnel director md whole time director and manager then rules of maximum remuneration see overall limit on managerial remuneration upper limit a maximum ceiling is 11%. Company with one managing director, whole time director and manager is 5%. Company with more than one managing director, whole time director manager is 10%. Then remuneration of part time director, when company has no managing director, whole time director is 3%. Remuneration of part time director, when company has one MD or more than one MD is 1%. Remuneration to manager is 5%. Profit for managerial remuneration is to be computed as per the provision of section 197-198 of Companies Act 2013. Now section 196 relates to appointment of manager, managing director and whole time director. Then section 197 relates to limits of remuneration. Then section 198 relates to computation of net profit for managerial remuneration. How to compute net profit for managerial remuneration section 198. So, as you know, in the final account, we make a profit and loss account, but there are certain items which are not allowed to the debit side of PL account. If these items are debited to PL, this is added back to net profit of PL. Why these items added back to PL? Just to calculate the managerial remuneration because there are certain items which manager is seeking that this should not be liable to be deducted in the PL account. So they are seeking like these items should be added back if it is deducted they should be added back while calculating managerial remuneration. So just to calculate the managerial remuneration we just added back these items. Which these items? Number one is provision for income tax or actual income tax. Then development rebate reserve, capital redemption reserve, repairs and renewal of capital nature, loss on sale of investment if long term, loss on sale of capital nature including loss of on fixed asset, voluntary payment to workers, bonus of last year, but bonus of current years allowed as per the bonus act. Then depreciation of accounts is not allowed, but depreciation at the section 123 is allowed, like schedule second of company law. Next is provision for bad debt, but actual bad debt allowed, managerial, uh, managing director remuneration, MD commission, but director fee is allowed, salary of manager, proposed dividend or final dividend corporate dividend tax payable in a way of any item debited to PL appropriation is not allowed interim dividend paid then capital nature expenditure on scientific research investment allowance reserve repair reserve but actual repairs allowed then ex gratia payment ex gratia payment means which is not a legal liability of an employer means employer voluntarily given to some money to an employee for example if an employee get injured right so voluntarily an employer uh, like if employer liability raises like it has to give uh, 5000 rupees to a worker but he voluntarily give 10000 rupees so that is the ex gratia payment then discount on shares or debentures return off then all provision for expenses and losses but actual business expenses are allowed the list of items allowed to be debited as expenses if these items are debited to PL no need to add them back so there are certain items which need to be debited to PL which items administrative selling and distribution expenses compensation for breach of contract as legal liability then director fee then interest on debentures 
then expenses of repairs if revenue by nature then depreciation as per schedule 123 bad debt salary to staff revenue expenses of scientific research then bonus of current year printing stationery etc other usual expenses of business repairs of revenue nature donation or charity is allowed loss on sale of current investment then there are following items which are not allowed to the credit side of pl as we discussed previously there are some items which are which should be deducted from the debit side these are the, uh, these are the items which are allowed means which are also deducted from the credit side of pl which are not allowed which are not allowed in to add it in the credit side of pl profit of capital nature on sale of assets profit on sale of investment profit on sale of undertaking profit on reissue of forfeited shares premium on share capital then opening balance of pl appropriation so it means there are certain items which should be deducted if these items has been added in the pl on the credit side so these items has to be deducted while calculating managerial remuneration then there are certain items which are allowed to the credit side of pl like subsidies and bounties from government income from investment interest or dividend income rental income uh, then income uh, dividend on investment transfer fee trading commission discount received gross profit if credited to pl previous year unclaimed balance or excess provision so these are the question uh, this is the question on the based on managerial remuneration uh, now this is the profit and loss account has been given for the year 1780 on the debit side the salary has been given salary is 190000 bonus of 1617 5000 as you can see that this is the previous year bonus right because we make a profit and loss account here for 780 by bonus of 1617 of rupees 5000 to interest on debenture 12000 to interest on loan 6000 to repairs 3000 to depreciation 82000 to compensation for breach of contract is 1000 to insurance premises 5000 to loss on sale of investment is 5000 to loss on sale of machine is 20000 whose cost is 2 lakh and wd written down value written down value is 1 lakh 30000 what is written down value because of depreciation the original value of the machine machinery has been reduced now currently this value is a 1 lakh 30000 now to expenditure on scientific research to provision for tax right and on the uh, and uh, to provision for bad debts 7500 to director fees 5000 to ex gratia payment is 2200 to net profit is 669500 total is 119200 now look at the credit side by gross profit is 144200 by premium on share is 50000 by profit on sale of forfeited share is 5000 by profit of building 90000 its cost is 2 lakh and written down value is 130000 by subsidy it's 6000 right now one thing you have to remember look at the loss on sale of machine its original cost yani book value is 2 lakh but written down value is 1 lakh 30000 so if i ask you what is the capital profit right 1 uh, 1 lakh 30000 is written down value and 20000 it says loss it means it has to be sell it has to be uh, sell in kitne mein biki hogi ye Written down value is 130000 and its loss is 20000 It means, ye kitne mein biki hogi? It's 110000 Same, agar main yaha dekhu, by profit on building is, cost is 2 lakh. Written down value is 130000 So, uh, is capital profit kya hoga? What is the capital profit? Previously, we have calculated the capital loss. Ab capital profit hoga. Capital loss kya hoga? Dekho. इसमें जो लॉस ऑन सेल ऑफ मशीनरी है मैंने आपको कहा कि इसकी कॉस्ट 2 लाख है बट आपको रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू पहले देखने रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू क्या होगी दैट इज 130000 उसमें भी आपको जब आपको बताया था कि जब भी मार्केट में सेल होते हैं सिर्फ वो रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू पर होते हैं रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू व्हिच इज मतलब हुज वैल्यू कैलकुलेटेड इन द मार्केट बेसिस तो 130000 उसकी मार्केट वैल्यू थी और 20000 से कम पे वो बिके यानी 130000 में बिके इट मींस अगर मैं ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट से कैलकुलेट करूं तो मुझे 90000 का कैपिटल लॉस हुआ दैट इज माय कैपिटल लॉस राइट सेम अगर मैं इसमें कैलकुलेट करूं यहां पर कैपिटल प्रॉफिट कितना होगा मेरा अब 130000 इट्स रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू एंड 90000 का मुझे प्रॉफिट हो गया तो 130 130000 प्लस 90000 इट्स इट्स 2 so if I need to calculate the capital profit, so it's 20,000. Because capital profit, you calculate the original cost. I hope this is clear.
now additional information has been given its depreciation as per schedule second it is 67000 bonus of current year is to be paid 10000 compute managerial remuneration now this is the format to compute managerial remuneration for the year ended 17 18 now first of all we have to take net profit net profit is 669000 right this has been given in the pl account then bonus of 1617 now bonus of 1617 we previously studied that now look at that uh see in eighth number bonus of last year but bonus of current is allowed as per bonus of yani bonus of last year is not allowed right so bonus of last year is not allowed as as to be the debit to pl matlab bonus of last year allowed nahi hai ki wo pl se debit ho jaye right to hum ye add it back karenge to bonus of last year humne add back kiya 5000 then depreciation then provision for tax provision for bad debt ex gratuity payment loss on sale of machine loss on sale of investment these are these are the items which are not allowed to be debited in the pl while calculating managerial remuneration one thing you should remember you have to add it back this item just to calculate the managerial remuneration otherwise you have to make the pl according to the rule then there are certain items which has to be deducted in managerial remuneration that is premium on shares minus profit on sale of forfeited shares then look at that profit profit with what profit in pl account that is a capital profit which i already calculated is 20000 look at the profit 2 lakh it's the original cost 130 is the written down value and 90000 is the profit to capital profit it means aapko isme sirf capital profit lena hai jo aapko deduct karna hai means capital profit is allowed to be uh, allowed to be allowed to be deducted from the managerial remuneration while calculating managerial remuneration now profit on sale of investment has been given in the credit side of the pl and this should be deducted from uh, the pl account while calculating managerial remuneration then depreciation of schedule second schedule second as per section 123 depreciation of account look at the nine number depreciation of accounts is not allowed but depreciation as per section 123 is allowed so in this question an addition information is given depreciation as per schedule second is 60000 67000 so it means it should be deducted right so that should be deducted then bonus bonus of current year is allowed to be debited from the pl so bonus of current year is also deducted now now the net profit for managerial remuneration is 799200 so what is the maximum ceiling if the question didn't ask if the didn't question says that uh, managerial remuneration percentage is this so you have to follow you have to follow this rule right so this question has not asked that you have to calculate the managerial remuneration for whole time director md part time director so we have to take many, uh, maximum limit upper ceiling so well calculate managerial remuneration 799200 into 11% it's 87912 i hope this question has been clear to you very well and this is the one of the major concept in final accounts so that's all for today thank you so much